welcome back to the channel. This is your host, uh, Christopher Corey with Shadows Techland. So a while back ago I did a video regarding uh, Pi-hole and uh, how to set one up and uh, kind of how it works. Uh, one of the things that I really didn't do much of an explanation on or um, go into much detail really on is block lists. Uh, block lists, basically one of the nice things that you can do is there's a lot of custom block lists that have been created and basically those block lists have uh, websites, uh, known websites, services, um, things of that nature that are known to be used for uh, basically spam, phishing, um, malware sites, things of that nature and you can go ahead and you can download a custom block list and go ahead and put that into Pi-hole and that block list may have one particular website in it or it might have a lot of different websites in it that can be used in order to block certain criteria whether you're trying to block suspicious lists um, known advertising lists that have been created to block advertising uh, tracking and telemetry lists which could be anywhere from like Facebook to uh, Microsoft and everything basically in between. There's also malicious lists that have been created that are known websites, services, etc. that are used to, for malicious needs to do harm to your network that have been created. Now this particular list I will leave a link in the description. One of the things that I want to make a disclaimer on is I do not take credit for this list. I did not create this list nor do I update or maintain this list, but I will definitely leave a link in the description. Uh, one of the things that I definitely wanted to uh, give a big disclaimer on, now there's quite a few different lists for these various things that have been blocked. One of the things that I highly, 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 I can't emphasize enough, highly don't recommend doing is don't just take the whole entire list and dump it into Pi Hole. Uh, a lot of these um, have gaps in layovers. Uh, basically you can have one or two block lists that block the same website or service which can cause conflicts. Pi-hole does do a pretty good job of basically um, hey I noticed that this particular address or IP address or website uh, is in two of your lists so we'll kind of go ahead and cancel one of them out to where it doesn't cause problems. Now, as an example, we can go ahead and we can take a look. I'll just pull up one of these. So these lists are all text files, and inside the text file is the block itself. So as you can see here, I mean, there's, this is a malware advertising list that went ahead and was created. And I mean, as you can see, there's a crap ton in this list of IP addresses and websites that are known to have malware and advertising in them that are can do harm to your network. Basically, I would recommend taking a look at these lists. See what, go ahead and, so basically you'll just go ahead and click on one of them and then it will either go ahead and open it up or it will give you a text file and then you can just go ahead and read the text file with whatever text um, editor that you want to use, whether it's Notepad, Notepad++, whatever the case may be. So as you can see here, there's a lot of block lists for this particular one as well. Um, let's, if you look at uh, tracking and telemetry list as an example, I mean there is a lot in these lists. Now, myself, I've done a lot of testing, and um, one of the things that can possibly happen, if you load too many block lists into Pi-hole, you can actually bring down your network or cause a lot of issues, and can cause a lot of websites that aren't necessarily bad to be blocked. Uh, for example, uh, there's Facebook um, blocking that is done in some of these block lists, so I went ahead and I just dumped all of them one day and I ended up completely blocking myself from being able to use Facebook as a person who does use Facebook that's kind of a problem so it's one of those things just to kind of keep in mind 
So basically what you would do is you would go, again, I'll leave a link in the description for this website and this block list. So you would go ahead and you already have PyHole installed. It's already set up. Crap. Uh, one sec. Need to get my login for PyHole, so bear with me a second, guys. There we go, now we're logged in, awesome. So what you would do is you would go over to, uh, one sec. So you would go settings and then block list. Actually that has been moved now due to the fact I want the new version. Now the old version of PyHole, if you were on uh, one of the older ones, you would go to settings and block list. But uh, due to the fact that I am now on version 5 of PyHole, it has actually been moved to uh, group management pages as you can see right here. And then basically what you would do is you would take the, you'd go back over here to the block list. You can just copy paste that. You'd put it in here. And then you can leave some sort of comment if you want as a notes to yourself as to what that block list is for or what it's coming from, etc. Um, you can definitely go ahead and enable and disable these if you do run into issues. I would recommend loading them basically either one at a time or in groups. And one of the things that I would also recommend before you do anything when it comes to block list, go ahead and come down to settings and then go to teleporter and then I would do an export. This will go ahead in any um, settings, configurations, any block list that you may possibly already have will go ahead and make a backup of it and I would back that up before you go ahead and load any block list just in case you run into any issues you can go ahead and step back. And then as I said previously you would just go back to um, group management and then add lists. And then from in there, you could copy paste the addresses from this particular block list. Now, this is not, this block list isn't exactly, you know, your one all solution, but it is definitely something as is a good base that you can go ahead and go off of to go ahead and help yourself and go ahead and do your testing and then see what works for you and what doesn't work. Like I said, I would recommend opening them and kind of briefly skimming through them to see if there is any lapse or in any copies between lists because sometimes multiple lists will block the same thing. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, um, PyHole does do a pretty good job of taking out any duplicate entries. That way you don't run into conflicts of uh, who's controlling what kind of thing. Uh, if you guys have any other further questions, definitely feel free to reach out to me on my social media. I do have a Discord community as well, and I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Otherwise, uh, definitely uh, feel free to reach out to me. Have a good day, and I hope you guys have a good 4th of July as well. Have a good one, guys.